We have to warn you about this next story. What you're about to see is graphic and certainly disturbing. It has to do with a case of animal cruelty caught on camera. The puppy in the video is alive and doing well thanks to a detective searching a Utica neighborhood to save that puppy. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows us how it unfolded and the kind of evidence that can boost prosecution. This shocking case of animal abuse happened here in this neighborhood in the area of 59 and Van Dyke, and it took a tenacious detective to save the puppy and make an arrest. A dire situation for that poor animal. At first, you don't see why the dog was in the air before hitting the ground. She hurries off, then a man walks into the frame of the ring doorbell camera, and when he comes back is when the homeowner could see what was happening. The man hurls the puppy into the air like a shot put. The homeowner knew exactly what to do. They're horrified by what's going on. They immediately made sure that they could get this information off to authorities to begin the investigation. And the Utica police detective was determined to find the man responsible and the dog whose life was clearly in jeopardy. He was able to put enough things together to lead him to believe that he had a correct address. Police say the man in the video is 21-year-old Terrell Tomer Jr. And inside his home, they found his French bulldog mix clearly hurting suffered multiple injuries, everything from multiple jaw fractures, spinal fractures, pelvic fractures, as well as uh, broken ribs and uh, a rear leg that was also broken. To animals, it, it's never justified. And at the point of abuse, the abuser is almost always feeling powerless and there's a need to regain power. Psychologist Dr. Michelle Lino says abusers often attempt to feel empowered by harming a defenseless person or animal. They have poor impulse control and sometimes the law gets involved and anger management is ordered. But otherwise, even after that, they kind of just go through the motions because they really don't perceive themselves as having problems. Sarah Chertel, a cruelty investigator with Michigan Humane, says evidence of an assault on an animal can be key in prosecuting offenders. Video proof is, is extremely helpful for, um, for us in these cases. Oftentimes in these cases, uh, we will respond after the fact and the animal shows no signs of injury. Um, so it's very difficult for us to be able to prove if they're being mistreated unless they're being mistreated right in front of us. The 11-month-old puppy is recovering and thriving in a new home. Terrell Tomer Jr. is now charged with felony torture of an animal. This is what's happening in public, what's happening behind closed doors. And Terrell Tomer is now behind bars, his bond set at $25,000 cash. In Utica, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Oh, thank goodness that puppy is okay.